Uh, what do you think it is about New Glasgow that produced so many people of uh, distinction? Me personally, I come from a stock that uh, included people who built our church, the uh, Second Baptist Church. I remember my mother telling me about her father, who was one of the people who helped build the church, and uh, how they would, uh, you know, come home from work, at their various jobs, and then have supper, and then the men would go down and keep building the church. So it was something very, very, very special and unique for me, having heard these stories from my mother at a very early age, to sit in that church. Um, I don't know what other children do. I know what I did. Uh, these things, for whatever reasons, uh, were very prominent in my thinking. I, I can be quite certain that there weren't too many children in my neighborhood who sat there in the church with me who were thinking about the connection between uh, their grandfather or their great uncle or somebody having pounded the nails in those boards that you're sitting right next to. This, this was very, very, very important to me. Mm -hmm. And I know that that kind of thinking shaped my overall thinking, mm -hmm. well, right to this day. I know where the foundations are. But as far as um, in New Glasgow being unique, or the communities being unique, and having these qualities that were not only extremely important for those times, but would certainly be a great value today. And that is why what, what they did and how they thought and how they conveyed what they were thinking and doing to me and those like me, that is what I have right now. So I'm just using the same methodology mm -hmm. from, from them. Mm -hmm. And if someone can see through something that I say or do uh, a reason for calling that, uh, you know, important, significant, enlightening, I'm doing exactly what I was taught. Mm -hmm. If you want to know how they were, look at me. Mm -hmm. This is how they were. Mm 